Hello and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today I want to talk about one of the simplest automated strategies available on Bybit. It's the Spot Grid Bot. Now there are two types, or actually there are more various types of grid bots, yeah. But basically, you get Spot and Futures. Let's let's first of all navigate to where you can find them. So here on Bybit, you select Tools and then Trading Bot. So the two main ones are spot and futures. Now you can also get a DCA bot, but basically that's just a spot bot or there are different ways how the futures bots can work. But today we want to keep it simple and we want to focus on the spot grid bot. Yeah? In this video, we'll keep it simple. But if you'd like me to cover futures grid bots in other videos, let me know in the comments and I'll prepare a tutorial for that as well. So what is actually a grid bot? Now the idea is really simple, buy low, sell high yeah but instead of you manually placing every buy and sell order manually in a range the bot does it automatically within a price range you define so i just want to show it to you how how that could actually work um let's take a look at the ethereum chart for example and again this is universal i just give you one example here it's not trading advice i just show you you know how it in theory can work and how to set up such a grid bot based on a range now let's say ethereum is moving currently in a well-defined range yeah between this green line or these previous swing lows around four thousand sixty dollars and the top here you could say five thousand dollars yeah just pick a, a significant swing high a significant swing low and you can see the market is moving in that range by the way we're using a lot of elliott wave on this channel um, you could also use the low of the Fibonacci range. That gives you a larger range then, yeah? So 3,374 and basically $5,000. But let's just stick to 5,000 to 4,060. Now, a grid bot will split that range into several smaller levels, basically called grids, yeah? So you could say... Um, so you could say... We have a range. We have, we have a, a simplify it. Just a grid here, yeah. So you have a lot of these grids in in this range. In in reality, there will be more, but just that you can visualize that, right? So you use that range and you define a number of grids. Now, when Ethereum drops into a lower grid, the bot buy the bot buys, yeah. And when Ethereum rises into a higher grid, then the bot will sell. And this way but not everything, right? Just step by step. And this way, the bot keeps making small trades and capturing profit from the normal up and down movement of the market in a range. It's important to note, we are using a spot grid bot. That means the bot trades the actual crypto, in this case, Ethereum, without leverage. That's safer for beginners because unlike a futures grid bot, you don't have the risk of liquidation. The worst case in spot is that the value of your coins goes down or you don't get liquidated like in futures. So you, you can still have a, sp a stop loss here, yeah, even with spot. Now, why do people use grid bots? Because they are a form of risk management. Yeah, Most riders get emotional, especially in ranges. I mean, look at this. Price has been moving. Now, while I record this video, right? Price has been moving for a month in a sideways range. A lot of people lose money in ranges because the market isn't trending it is easy to get chopped up in these ranges because people try to trade manually all these little bits here. Yeah, They get emotional, they get frustrated, they get bored, they make mistakes. Overtrading, big mistake. Yeah, So most traders get emotional, they hesitate to buy dips and forget to take profits. And the grid bot takes that emotion away. Now you still have to have your parameters and that's your risk management and your stop, right? But within that range, the bot will probably do better than people will trade manually, at least in many cases. Don't want to say in all cases. And if the market starts to rally again, yeah, that's very important. And then the grid bot probably won't do so well because people can, when you're a, well, when you're a trend trader, you will probably do better trading the trend by hand than the bot. But in a range, the bot will probably do better. Yeah. I can only encourage you try it for try it yourself. 
Try it with little money only. Yeah. See how it goes for you. You know, first of all, learn this tool. It's a tool. Okay. But basically, the bot executes the plan consistently, buying and selling inside your chosen range. It also prevents you from going all in at one single price. Instead, it spreads your orders across many levels, yeah, um, which give you a smoother average entry and exit. It's not about maximizing profit, but remember that most people, most people, yeah, will actually lose money in ranges. But here's a catch: a grid bot is not magic. Yeah, a lot of people will will sell it to you as magic. It only works well if you set a good price range. And analysis like this, that we do on this channel a lot, it will help you because you can define the key range that you want to work with. Yeah. Now, if the market breaks out above or below your range and never comes back, the bot stops working. That's why you have to manage it. So if it just keeps going and you think, oh, I've got, you know, I've got my, I've got my grid bot. Well, it, it's not going to really... Do, do do so well if it breaks out to the upside, right? Because in the range, it will have sold on the way up and then you, you are left with probably cash sitting there and uh, you you might think you have a lot of ETH, but it actually hasn't. So it's it's good in a range and it can make sense to combine the grid bot with a trend trading strategy. So, but again, not like, you know, all in a grid bot. That, that is probably not the best way to do it. But the grid bot for a range and then maybe... Um, a, a buy and hold or trend trading strategy for the actual impulsive movements. Um, so you can't just, what I mean is you can't just set it and forget it forever. You need to check if your range is still valid and sometimes adjust if the market is clearly moved into a new zone. So if Ethereum is in that range, then that range here that we just defined is meaningful because it lines up with Fibonacci support at the lower side and resistance at the upper side. So if we set our bot to run between 4,000 and 5,000, it can buy near the bottom and sell near the top. Over and over again, as long as Ethereum is in the range and you don't get frustrated when we're in the range, it saves you time as well. Yeah. Now, on Bybit, setting a grid board, setting up a grid board, it is actually quite straightforward. So I already showed you how to get there. And then you can just select here, select grid board. And then, well, you know, you, you, you can let it define a range for you, but if you have good analysis, you can do it manually. And then we just select the price range, could be 4,000 to 5,000. And then selecting a number of grids. Now, in my experience, a high number of grids works best. So typically I would set around 100, that doesn't often, sometimes it doesn't work depending on the size of, of the range, but it gives me a maximum of 94. But you can experiment with that a little bit, yeah. Um, so that gives you the number of grids, how basically how often is it buying and selling. But then please note that the number of grids will impact your total investment, yeah. So normally it means the higher the grid number, the more you need to put in there, right, total investment. So it shows... 34,050. Doesn't mean, don't get shocked. Doesn't mean you have to invest that amount of money. You could just reduce the number of grids. So if we go to 16, it tells me 70. So I could just, with the number of grids 16, I could just invest 100 and then select even trading stop if I want to and create the bot. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to run it, but um, then you can experiment a little bit with number of grids. Okay, you see, if you have 20 grids, you need $115. So that's how you can play around with it a little bit. Um, and it just means number of grids lower, just means it will sell a little bit less frequently and buy a little bit less frequently. The distance between the grids is just larger. That's basically how it is. So it will then be there for you to manage and it will trade for you. But all you need to do is basically set your number of grids, total investment, and well, actually I could create it now, why not? Then it asks you here for confirmation, yeah, interval, Profit grid, that's the profit per grid here. And we'll select confirm. And it's now created successfully, this grid bot. And it's here. Total investment, it's got the price range here. Number of grids, hasn't done anything yet. Yeah, we need the price obviously to move through the grids now a little bit, yeah. Um, it needs to come down for the price to actually trigger a grid and then the bot will begin to buy. So that's how it works. Um, I'll keep you updated. Hope you enjoyed that. But let me know 
If you want further updates, further tutorials on the different grid bots, we can check them out. And um, if you'd like to try it out yourself, MCO has partnered with Bybit. Use the link in the description and you'll get 10% of your trading fees for 30 days. And also Bybit, they have a lot of other things going on when you join. Sometimes there are bonuses and so on. So check it out. Um, I'll leave the link in the description and in the comment section. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.